I traveled, faced different roads, faced different challenges that tested my faith. I wanted to give up, not seeing any light to bring me hope. I was too weak to resist the inevitability of hopelessness. I wanted to give up. I wanted to give in. But I saw you, and it changed everything. A transform in a deeper understanding of what is around the spiritual plane, you know, uh, we have this devotion to Mary, based on the Bible, who is our mother, the mother also of the Savior, Jesus Christ. You know? So we recognize her as the mother of God, the mother of Jesus, and the mother of the church. And we are the sons and daughters of God. We are disciples of the church, Mary being the preeminent member of the church. You know? And the church says Mary is the mother of the church. You know? So she is our mother. Now, when we say Mary is our mother, it means to say that we embrace all the qualities of a good and blessed mother who looks after her children. Kaya we can see the blessed mother as mapagmahal, mapagkalinga, uh, protectress natin. You know? And above all, someone who is there to strengthen us, to make us grow you know? physically, mentally, and most especially spiritually. See, we are not just touching here on the devotion proper, but we are also touching on a deeper reality, and that is our relationship with Mary, who is our mother and the mother of the church. Because the Blessed Mother has so many titles. Only the Fatima, Lourdes, and only the Peña Francia is just one of the titles of the Blessed Mother. But it touches, no matter what the titles are, as I said, on the very core of our relationship, with a woman who is our ina or our mother. Now, in the cultural context, the Filipinos are said to be, or the Philippines is said to be, Pueblo Amante de Maria. Ibig sabihin niyan is, uh, sambayanang nagmamahal kay Maria. A country in love with Mary. No. Uh, we can also see that culturally, that among the Filipinos, among us, we know very well that the mother is the queen of the house, di ba? No? In fact, matriarchal tayo in a way. It is the nana who governs the family, di ba? Not so much the tatay, you know? It's really the mother. So, it's imbued in us, sa mga bata, no, na, yung pagmamahal no, sa nanay. And we know how important a mother is to us. Our relationship with the Blessed Mother in terms of devotion is not just purely regards the soul. But it is holistic. In terms na, pag nagkaigwa ka di pa, pag meron kang dibusyon sa mahal na birin, dapat ibig sabihin din yan, alaga mo sarili mo. You know? Dahil ang ina, hindi naman lang inaalaga ng ina yung kaluluwa ng anak, eh, di ba? Kundi yung buong pagkatao ng kanyang anak. You know? So the same, Mary is our mina because she looks after our well-being. And the Bikulanos, in my experience, is, it's a very, they are very prayerful people. Very prayerful, very pious. They're so open, you know, and they really love spirituality. They really love to express their faith, their religiosity. You know? That's why you have so many processions here, so many statues, so many chapels, you know, and so many chapels are named after the Blessed Mother, dedicated to the Blessed Mother. I'm diving the bush. So, mga bikulano talagang deep seated spiritual sila, you know. Kaya madali nilang iugnay ang kanilang sarili. Sa mahal na birhin. Ina, the mother who guides her way. In the darkness in my heart, you are the light. The multitude of stars dotting the boundless sky. Amid the deafening welter of discordant sounds around me, you never fail to listen to my silent and muffled cry. I hear you. Yes. I hear your faint voice whispering in my ear, and I am relieved knowing that you are here beside me, a silent witness to the raging turmoil drowning my soul. in my faith, wounded 
wounded and scarred by illusions and shattered dreams. But on the verge of falling in the deep chasm of emptiness, you are there to catch me. Many times I floundered. Many times I fell, choosing the path that leads to temporal and superficial satisfactions, which, in reality, I can live without, blinded by the brilliant lights of a hollow existence. A subtle deception so alluring that found me trapped to give in, indulging in the flimsiness and fleetingness of borrowed life. Nang nakulong ako, aminado akong huni na ang aking pananalig. Sa puntong nagtanong ako kung bakit sa dinami-dami, bakit ako? Pero, mas nanayig ang paniniwala ko kung hindi niya ako iniwan. Pinagpatuloy ko ang aking dibusyon at sa katunayan, sa mga ginagawa kong lambara, ang imahe ng mahal na biyahen ang una at palagian kong ginagawa. Inaalay ko kay ina ang inaing ng lahat ng taong apektado ng COVID-19, ang lahat ng panalangin ng mga kasama ko dito, at dasal ko ang kaligtasan ng lahat. ano po kita nagka-COVID po ngayon ta para po mag-runny po kita lalo sa iya mag-samba po man ang parataya po nagpatagos lang po eh. ah, sa ngunyan na may pandemya mas sobra nagpusok ang ano ko kasi manamang kitang ibang mat- mas mahagad ang tabang sa araw ko ni mayo ko po sa pagsakit di buong mundo sina na lang or ang kaburang na nangagad ang tantabang namumutan kong mga Bicolano. Ngunyan, sinisilebrar niya to ang kapiestahan ni Nuestra Senyora de Peña Francia. Sa tahaw kan sa tuya mga pagsakit, ranga kan sa tuya mga napapahang mga puso. Si ina, sa tuyang paglaom anuman na panahon. Sangaran po kan sa kuyang pamilya, mga miyembros kang kusog Bicolandia, minapaabot ng happy piesta sa Lambang Saro. Viva la Virgen! Indeed, our celebration this year is far different, yet notable. The Archdiocese of Cáceres and the city government jointly cancelled all component fiesta activities this year. For the first time since its inception, the translation and fluvial processions were ordered cancelled, as well as the major parades and grand celebrations to prevent possible surge of COVID-19 cases in the city. May our Lord, the Divino Rostro, continue to nourish you as you spend a prayerful time along with our fellow Bicolanos and devotees. May our Ina continue to bless you as you all continue to reflect on the many favors you have received through her maternal intercession. Viva la Virgen! Viva el Divino Rostro! Positibo sa COVID-19 ang gagi pa ngayo sa DNR. Deped, ginapanghandaan na ang mga bli ang turismo sa Samal Island. Ano mang pangyayari na katutok ang GMA Regional TV mula North Central Luzon, Balitang Amyana, Central and Eastern Visayas, Balitang Bisda, Western Visayas, One Western Visayas, hanggang North Central and Southern Mindanao. One Mindanao, Monday to Friday, 5 p.m. Because local news matters. Sa pagkarangkada ng Kapuso Barangayan on Wheels, hatid ng GMA Regional TV, ang tulong at pag-asa ngayong panahon ng pandemya. Tanda ang pamilya na mula sa North Central Luzon, Central and Eastern Visayas, Western Visayas, at North Central and Southern Mindanao. Ang nabigyan ng tulong na may kalakip na mensahe ng pag-asa. Ito ang buong pusong pagsaservisyo ng GMA Regional TV. 
We are happy to announce that the GMA Regional TV YouTube channel was given the Silver Creator Award. Now with over 100,000 subscribers at patuloy pang dumarami, buong puso kaming nagpapasalamat mga kapuso. Your hand upon my hand, leading me walking with me from a narrow path that opens to a road of promise is an assurance that I will not go astray. You are the eternal compass that I will seek forever. My true north, my true hope. With you beside me, the daily struggles with life is a walk in the clouds because you are there to hold my hand and lift me up. Nung bata ako, nare-remember ko na every time mag-translasyon siya, nasasotin na niya yung, ano, yung may Viva La Virgen, no? Tapos, magpapaana siya palabas ng bahay. Tapos, maki- tapos ako, hahabol ako, nakapaa din. Tapos, may suot-suot din akong panyo. Tapos, sasama ko, sama ko. Sabi, hindi, dito ka lang, hindi ka pa pwede kasi bata ka pa. Hanggang sa nakikita ko siya, nagalakad, hanggang hindi ko na siya makita. Alam mo, yung, yung alam ko na kung ano yung translasyon talaga. First, parang ayoko sumama kasi nga, Parang daming risk, nakakatakot. Parang si yung nanay ko, parang huwag ka muna dyan kasi you're too young. Parang ganun. Pero parang may, nag, may nag-push sa akin na so tingin ko kailangan ko, kailangan ko na rin ito ma-experience as, ano, as um, a person. So, nag-start ako high school and uh, I'm uh, ano, 17 years na akong devotee. following year oh dire, parang sabi ko try ko nga ulit pero hindi pa dun sa alam yung magiging devotee talaga ako every year so from the next year tinry ko ulit hanggang sa hindi na dahilan yung kasama ko kasi yung tropa ko parang nawala na yung reason na ganun kailangan ko sumama dahil ang yung mga friends ko kasama parang hindi na parang may sarili na akong ano um, reason feeling ko in my own opinion na parang nothing against ano anyone na nagboboya Siguro yung mga youth ngayon, um, especially yung mga nag-start pa lang ng, ano, ng ma-feel yung devotion. Parang, parang feeling ko sa pag-usapan nga namin yung kapalig ko, parang yun, last time. Uh, parang I think the youth of today, um, parang mas maganda and uh, mas maganda na mahanap nila yung sarili nila sa... Uh, na, na maging deboto. Kasi parang, tayo kasi, ang, ang youth kasi now is, ang daming, ang daming stuff na nagiging busy sila. Like for example, mas nagiging focus sila on different things like career, um, studies, which walang mali doon. Pero kumbaga parang, hindi na na-prioritize siguro yung spirituality. Parang ganun. Now, which is very, very important to a person. Parang, Parang, for me, parang mas maganda na um, gustuhin nilang ano, uh, maging deboto. Well, let's face it, no? hindi lang naman in relation to ina eh. I mean, religiosity at large. No? Sa mga statistics, sa mga kabataan, misa maraming uh, nakakalimot na magsimba. You know? uh, nakaka- nawawala rin interest sa mga katekesis. You know? Parang anything religion or spiritual. Medyo, may, medyo mahina ang ating kabataan. Pero pagkatapos sa sports, sa music, sa arts, talagang uh, ano sila, alam mo mga kabataan, idealistic, colorful, talagang energetic, yan. Ano? But it doesn't mean uh, patay yung devotion. It doesn't mean na uh, patay yung capacity. You know? na, o totally bereft na walang-wala na silang capacity to raise up their spirit and enter into the realm of the spiritual or of religion of reconnect themselves to God or to the Blessed Mother. Nandiyan yan. Ina, 
the mother who comforts and consoles weary souls. Whenever troubles hound me, I think of you. I feel you. I know you are there, selflessly giving yourself. Kasis, kung si Ina, pinoprotect po tayong mga Bicolano. Sigurado kasali ako doon. So, alam ko, special pa rin ako kay Ina in, in some way or kung Um, kasi lahat naman po tayo, iba-iba yung kung paano tayo nagiging special sa, sa bawat isa. Siguro, meron din dun isang portion sa akin na siguro ang binigay lang, nakikita ko lang po na pwedeng binigay sa akin ni Ina na gift is yung strength. Strength para labanan yung struggles, daily struggles. Yun yung number one na binibigay niya sa akin. Siguro, kaya yung devotion sobrang... malakas pa rin, hindi nababawasan. Or, masasabi ko nga po, mas nadadagdagan pa siya ever. I look at you, and the darkness that shrouds my eyes are lifted. Your comforting presence surrounds me with a warmth so reassuring that everything will turn out right. Like a tight embrace, when desolation creeps in, a powerful yet heartwarming presence. I wallowed in the depths of fear and uncertainty. Self-doubt and emptiness fill my days. Like a dark tunnel with no end in sight, pangs of misery grip my soul. And then I saw a faint sparkle pulling me nearer and nearer until the light becomes brighter and brighter, a golden ray of bursting brightness. And then I saw you. whisper speaks volumes. You will not let me down. Never. Because your love has endured for centuries and there is just no sign of stopping. Specifically, ang debusyon, meron din kasaysayan yan. Alam natin ang debusyon sa Peña Francia nang galing sa Spain, nadala sa Pilipinas, no? ni naging pare, Father Miguel Covarrubias. Estudyante pa lang siya. He was sent to the Philippines, no? and then the devotion he had had in Spain, he brought it here. Wala akong po pong trabaho, ngunyan, maski po para pa ba, no, nakakakuha akong po ang kadikit na pag-anak buhay sa pangaral daw, na, no, na pag-buhay sa, dahil nag, nagpapangadig po okay na. Lalo po mong nagkusog, dahil sa araw ganing nangyari, medyo, Yung business me na nag-down talaga, mas lalong nagkusog ang faith ko kay ina. Sagabos na Bicolano sa bilog na tinaban, bot ko pong magpaabot ni maugma ang kapiestahan kiinang Nuestra Senyora de Fina Francia. Sa panahon mo niyan na nagsasakit kita dulot ng COVID-19 pandemic, lugod tabangan kita ni Inang Pena Francia sa tabang kansayang mahal na ating si Jesus na bulungon ang sangkatauhan at iliktas kita sa mga katibaanan. Happy Fiesta Bicolanos! Viva la Virgen de Fina Francia! 
Greetings and welcome to all the pilgrims and devotees of Our Lady of Peña Francia, the miraculous patroness of the Bicol region. Our dearest Ina, please grant all our petitions, especially our prayer to end the COVID-19 pandemic. Magkasalaro kita gabos. Mabuhay ang mga Bicolanos. Viva la Virgen! Ang GMA Regional TV ay patuloy ninyong sandigan. Sa pag ng mga balita at impormasyong makabuluhan. At kailangan sa mga panahong ito. Because local news matters. Kagapay nyo kami sa Ankaman sa Pilipinas. Sa pagharap natin sa mga bagong hamon ng new normal, kasama pa rin natin ang ating mga dakilang guro. Let's celebrate National Teachers Month, buong puso para sa Pilipino. Isang pagpupugay mula sa inyong GMA Regional TV. Nagpositibo sa COVID-19 ang gagi pa ngayo. sa DNR. DepEd, ginapanghandaan na ang mga bli ang turismo sa Samal Island. Ano mang pangyayari na katutok ang GMA Regional TV mula North Central Luzon, Balitang Amyana, Central and Eastern Visayas, Balitang Bisda, Western Visayas, One Western Visayas, hanggang North Central and Southern Mindanao, One Mindanao, Monday to Friday, 5 p.m. Because local news matters. We are happy to announce that the GMA Regional TV YouTube channel was given the Silver Creator Award. Now with over 100,000 subscribers at patuloy pang dumarami, buong puso kaming nagpapasalamat mga kapuso. Mother who covers us with her healing mantle of protection. In my sleep, I endure the pains thrown upon me, wailing, whining, and weeping, questioning why, of all people, I am made to suffer, trying to find the sense and the reason, yet finding none, as my heart refuses to accept what could be the underlying purpose lying deep within the suffering. March of 2019, I was diagnosed with stage 2 colon cancer. Then, nag-start na po akong mag-treatment um, April. April din lang. Siguro po, yung, yung journey for the treatment, may hirap. May hirap physically, emotionally, syempre financially. Pero, um, Siguro, may, since may mga tumutulong din po, so medyo mag-aan-gaan po siya. Yung mga anak ko po ang nagpapalakas sa akin. So kung malakas ako, hindi ko mararamdaman yung sakit kung ano man meron ako. So, ano lang siya, uh, parang hindi ko kasi po iniisip daily na may sakit ako. Kasi pag iniisip mo daily na may sakit ka, depression ang papasok sa iyo mas babagsak yung immune system mo, mas babagsak yung katawan mo. So, pag nakita kong masaya yung mga anak ko, masaya na ako, hindi ko matatandaan yung sakit ko. So, okay na yun sa akin. Basta, kasi day one ng magkasakit ako, ang tanong ko lang, la, tanong ko or pumasok sa isip ko is paano yung mga anak ko? Dalawa yun na, High school and elementary that time. So, parang yun ang nasa isip ko lang. Pero kung siguro masisecure yung future ng mga anak ko, okay na ako. Wala, wala ang problema sa akin. Yung faith po kay Ina, or sabi na po natin generalize sa 
sa faith ko sa mahal na Diyos o ano, never po siyang nabawasan. Kasi every time na um, may struggles ako in life, once na i-pray ko siya, um, kahit pa paano po, sabihin na natin hindi 100% pawawala, pero mga 70%, masasolve siya. So, never kung question yung um, yung faith kay God or kay Ina, never. Sa akin po, the mere fact na buhay pa ako, mirag, milagro na po yun. Kasi, um, sabi kasi po nila, once na may cancer ka, talagang papunta ka na dun sa libingan. Pero, para po sa akin, every time nagigising ako sa umaga, milagro na yun. Kasi, lalo na po pag in-pain ako, um, kung magigising pa ako the next day, milagro na po yun sa akin. Uh, never kung, never, never ako nag-doubt sa kung ano man yung plano sa akin. Uh, basta ang importante po sa akin, the next day, gigising ako, nakikita ko yung mga anak ko, okay na po yun sa akin. Milagro na yun sa akin kasi buhay pa ako. Naka, ano na po kami ng mga anak ko, nakaschedule na, na pag-start ng novenary masses kay Ina, everyday kami magsisimba, magsiserve din sila, may schedule din lang sila pag-serve. So at least po yung usual na devotion, nandun pa rin. Frail and low in spirit, I know that your miraculous mantle is known to possess healing powers. But more than this is my belief in the power that lies within your gentle soul. Pag duman mi po sa doktor, duman sabi kan doktor, ipa-x-ray. Pag abot mi duman sa x-ray room, pag patiliko dahil dyan, nahiling mi talaga ang burukol na, si ano, si likod niya, burukol na. Hindi na, napaibig po ako ka to. Sabi ko, ano na, anong nangyari sa likod mo? Taarog ka yan. Sabi niya pa, nauntog lang yan mama sa lamesa. Nasa so, kanya, kaarog na kayang ka, ano, ka, ka bukol. Duwa na po siyang bukol. Iti sa taas ka sa ano. Napaibig talaga po ako kat, kan time na to. Tapos yun na po to, pig, para ano na siya. Sabi ko, ano, doktor na, yun na iyan, pig, examen na siya. Nailing talaga sa ano niya, sa result kan x-ray na talagang TB of the bones. Tapos po, sabi kong doktor, sabi niya, maringan niya, aki mo, nakakalakaw pa, maski TB of the bones. Tapos po, iyon nga po. Tapos po, siguro mga duwang aldaw na lang, garoon naglulogmok na siya, na ang paglakaw niya, garoon nawawara na siyang kusog. Di, sabi ko, ano yan? Ngayon mga day na ngayon, ma, ngayon, ano, sabi ko, yun yun, sinasabi kong doktor, na magbibidre din ka talaga. O hanggang po, nag si time, na talagang, Mana na, ma na siya, dahil na nakakalakaw. Nahiling na nakahida siya. Ang iba nga na, napapahibi man sa sitwasyon niya. Ta bigla-bigla man. Si maestra niya duman, na bigla man, naaro ka yan. Nagniwang talaga po siya. Dahil po sa pagparapabulong mi, one time nga ni, nag-agi si Sir Joel, na sabi niya na nahirak siya, napahibi man nga siya kang time na to. Nahiling niya ang sitwasyon kong aki. O niyan po, pag-agi ko, hindi pag-jogging ko pagkaaga. Nahiling ko ang aki, garoon sa sakitan. Ngunyan, one time nang iturugan po ako na nakalakaw siya, nahiling ko sa pangiturugan ko. Ngunyan, ano, ang uniform pong araw kanina, Kina, pinasaulot ko sa iya. Tayo ito nahiling ko na nakaray sa iya. Ngunyan, pag mata ko, digditulos ko sa inda nagdiritso, pinasaulot ko itong uniform na ito. Sabi ko, ini sulutun mo nito, nahiling ko, sabi ko sa magorang na nakakalakaw na ang haki mo. Siya, may kapot man ka itong mga nobena. Sige niya ang pangadji, bago kumahali. Nak, ini, oh, tataang takang nobena. Basa-basahon mo iyan, mag-arang kang mali sa mahal na Diyos. Kiina, ta, iyon na lang yan ang makakatabang sa imo. Tapos, yun na nga ni po ito himala. Naghiro ang bitis niyang iyan. Grabe po ang pagtubod ni Kiina. Ta, yun na nga ni, and before nga ni, ito ka, after na na ano siya talagang chinagaan ko siya kay ina, taaram kong siya talaga ang nag-ano sa mo. Pagparahagad ko sa iyo bilang ina, bilang ina man, niya ako, ako po ina, nagsasakit ako, gusto kong maray ang aki, ikutabangan mo kami. Ayun po ito, pagpacheck up mi po, duman ng bigla si doktor, ta, nakatindog na po ako, kaya ako na po maglakad-lakad, ta. Ayun po, si paka ano mi kay talaga po dumanday na kaya tingin na alsa na lang po ako ni Papa pag malawag na kami sa klinik niya. Pero katupong naka, nagbalik kami, 
bako na pong alsa, nagdalakad-lakad na po, kaya po naug mama si Dok po. Tawag nga po kato siya, naging response. Ang iba po kaya, siguro baka din nagtutubod. Ako po kaya nahiling ko, nag, kaya nagtutubod po ako. Kaya sa inda po, pangapudang ko, magtubod po sa inda. Totoong may himala po. Kaya po grabing pasasalamat ko kay ina. E, tinabangan niya kami, dahil niya kami, dahil niya kami binigo sa mga pangaji on me po. Kaya luman, nagpatakusog si panalik ko sa inda. Kaya po, kung kato yung pakaano ko po talaga, nag-apply ako sa choir para makaserve. Your heart for the weak and suffering is beyond compare. Your loving embrace is my unbeatable protection, my impenetrable armor. With your touch, I am healed. of trepidation when anxiety overpowers me i run to you for succor in you i know i will be safe because you are my mother and i will always be in your care hey, mga Piculanos, you know we're prone to natural disasters diba? typhoon tayo dinadaanan natin mga earthquake diba andiyan ang bayon diba Uh, ang daming sa kasaysayan ng, ng, ng Bicol, ang daming sakuna. Sino ang tinatakbuhan nila? Ang mahal na Birhen. Because precisely, they see in her a mother that protects, a mother that cares. namumutan kong mga Bicolano. Ngunyan, sinisilebrar niya to ang kapiestahan ni Nuestra Senyora de Peña Francia. Sa tahaw kan sa tuya mga pagsakit, ranga kan sa tuya mga napapahang mga puso. Si ina, sa tuyang paglaom anumana panahon. Sangaran po kan sa kuyang pamilya, mga miyembros kang kusog Bicolandia, minapaabot ding happy piesta sa Lambang Saro. Viva la Virgen! Indeed, our celebration this year is far different, yet notable. The Archdiocese of Cáceres and the city government jointly cancelled all component fiesta activities this year. For the first time since its inception, the translation and fluvial processions were ordered cancelled, as well as the major parades and grand celebrations to prevent possible surge of COVID-19 cases in the city. May our Lord, the Divino Rostro, continue to nourish you as you spend a prayerful time along with our fellow Bicolanos and devotees. May our Ina continue to bless you as you all continue to reflect on the many favors you have received through her maternal intercession. Viva la Bergen! Viva el Divino Rostro! Sa pagarangkada ng Kapuso Barangayan on Wheels, hatid ng GMA Regional TV, ang tulong at pag-asa ngayong panahon ng pandemya. Tanda ang pamilya na mula sa North Central Luzon, Central and Eastern Visayas, Western Visayas, at North Central and Southern Mindanao, ang nabigyan ng tulong na may kalakip na mensahe ng pag-asa. Ito ang buong pusong pagsaservisyo ng GMA Regional TV.
the latest breaking news all over the country and abroad at your fingertips. Log on to GMAregionalTV.com and subscribe to GMA Regional TV's official YouTube channel for the top stories from your first-hand source of regional happenings in your local language. Because local news matters. Log on and subscribe now. Nagpositibo sa COVID-19 Ang gagi pa ngayo sa DNR DepEd, ginapanghandaan na Ang mga bli ang turismo sa Samal Island Ano mang pangyayari na katutok Ang GMA Regional TV Mula North Central Luzon Balitang Amyana Central and Eastern Visayas Balitang Bisda Western Visayas One Western Visayas Hanggang North Central and Southern Mindanao One Mindanao Monday to Friday 5pm Because local news matters Ang GMA Regional TV ay patuloy ninyong sandigan. Sa pag-aatid ng mga balita at impormasyong makabuluhan. At kailangan sa mga panahong ito. Because local news matters. Kagapay nyo kami sa Ankaman sa Pilipinas. Sa pagharap natin sa mga bagong hamon ng new normal, kasama pa rin natin ang ating mga dakilang guro. Let's celebrate National Teachers Month. Buong puso para sa Pilipino. Isang pagpupugay mula sa inyong GMA Regional TV. Ina, the mother who unites us in faith. From different origins, we traverse the road that leads to you, meeting at the perfect destination to convey solemn fervor and celebratory expression. With a singular voice, we shout, Viva la Virgen! On this one special day dedicated for you. We see one people united in faith, with one voice singing praise to the one true Queen of Bicolandia, who brings people together, a sea of people, with one heart beating for Ina, bound for love, strengthened by a pious devotion. As far as I remember, I also started at 13 when I was second year high school. Uh, kasi the last time I remember, I was with my mama, with my mother. Katong last procession na uh, naipit kami sa, sa may Kamsur, uh, Kamarinisur National High School. So I was the one who protect her para dahil maipit kang boyadores. Tapos yun, I asked her kung nalain ako pwede magpuon. Sabi niya, pwede, na, pwede ka na magpuon. So when I asked the stories from my, my papa and my mama, Yun, napas on niya sa muya si historia na nag-start man siya at the age of 13. So ngun yan, uh, being the, the model as a father kay Papa, nahiling ko, sabi ko, baka pwede na ako magpuon kan devotion ko. Kasi Ina is always a part of our stories, a family, uh, sa family stories. She's always part of it. As a child, we look at always the mother, the Ina, who gives us guidance, directions on where their children or her children should go. So, yun, si pag, yun ang pag, uh, pananaw ko noon na sabi ko, it is through our mother uh, that we are molded as a child, as an adult, and as a, uh, and as a responsible citizen. And all our cries, it's always our ina, especially that our mother, my mother, your mother carried us for nine months and molded us all through the years because no mother, no, no parent or no mother would teach you, would always teach you or guide you in the right direction. So through the intercession of Ina, Our Lady of Peña Francia, uh, there were lots of uh, untold stories about me, about my family, 
about my wife and about my children and grandchildren. Start po ako ng dawn procession nung 8 years old po ako. Kasama ko po yung mom, sila po. Tapos nag-start po ako magbuya ng 11 years old. Hindi ka natatakot doon sa crowd. Kasama ko naman po si daddy tapos guided po naman ako ni Lord. Opo, nag enjoy naman po ako kasi kasama ko po yung magulang ko at guided po tayo ni Lord. Hindi tayo masasaktan doing yes. As a son or as a person, you always go to your mama, your mother. We as Bicolanos, we consider Our Lady of Peña Francia, our, our patron saint, as our mother. So if we, have, if, we ha if we need guidance from the Lord, we always seek for intervention of Our Lady of Peña Francia. Um, nakikita ko po sa mga magulang ko at sa lolo ko na nagbubuya sila. Gusto ko na din i-sumama at mapasa yung ganun naming ginagawa every year para magpasalamat sa kiina at kay Lord. Well, every, every relationship is a mystery. Every relationship. Di ba pag nainlove ka, hindi mo naman alam lahat? Because love is unfolding. Di ba? The very concept of love is it's a process of unfolding. Eh, nalulungkot ako, halimbawa, when a husband says, Oh, Bishop, kilalang kilala ko na yung misis ko. O kaya yung misis, Oh, Bishop, kilalang kilala ko na mister ko. Nakakalungkot, wala na madidiscover. Para na-define mo na ang mister mo, na-define mo na ang misis mo. Wala na. Eh, that is not love. Huh? Now, the Blessed Mother, we cannot, so to say, limit her or confine her to this or to that. Pero ang ina, dahil nagmamahal sa atin, kaya marami tayo natin discover sa kanya. If you can only listen to the so many stories of the Bicolanos, you know, what attracted them to our, to our ina, you know, mas yung mga bata, magugulat ka. Siyempre, iba, mga less, especially young people, no, they just go along with the procession. Pero I think they just, they just don't go along with the procession. I'm sure in that procession, they are beginning to see that, hey, who is this woman? Ina, the mother who inspires joy. I look at you and I see a beautiful promise. I look at you and I see love. I look at you and I see hope. I look at you and I know that my faith I will forever keep. Ito'y uh, time din na tayo magpagbigay uh, po salamat sa ating mga biyayang nare-receive and makapaghingi ng guidance and um, protection sa anumang na pakamakan and anumang na sakit. Especially for us na mga overseas Filipino workers na malayo sa ating mga kamag-anak and uh, mga pamilya. Ay patuloy na nagsa-celebrate ang kapistahan ni Our Lady of the Fernia Francia ay para may pagpatuloy kung ano man ang ating mga nakagawian noon nung tayo ay nasa Bicol pa. I feel great and thankful because we have been blessed all these years and the years to come. And that's why when my children were still young, I used to tell them, if something happens, the only thing you're going to take along with you is Ina. And they were wondering why. What about our staff, Mom? I said, don't worry about your staff. We can replace them, but our Ina is irreplaceable. Your name uttered by my lips is my life's longing for your mercy, a tender reassurance of your presence, just a breath away, a wisp of truth in an unreal world. Every day of life lived is a miracle worthy of praise and thanksgiving, and knowing that you are in our midst makes it all worth the sacrifice. Do you know that in one of the joys as Archbishop, uh, before September, I've been getting so many invitations. I've been to U.S. and so many organizations there uh, of Bicolanos. No, 
laban-laban nga sila. Pero pag isang celebration, united sila. You know? In fact, without COVID, I could have been in London now. I was invited by the Peña France Association in London. You know? okay. In New Zealand, I just came up, uh, I know, in, in uh, Australia, I just made a video message. You know? And that's why I said, in Arizona, by the way, they put up a very big church, and inside the church, and behind the sacristy, there is a shrine, a big one, for our lady Peña Francia, put up by the parish priest and the bishop, and I was there for the consecration of that place. No, kasi sabi ko nga we have to change the name eh. Hindi na yung yung ano yung Patrona del Bicol kundi Patrona del Mundo na eh. So patron not just of the Bicolanos but patron of the entire world. You are an inspiration to live a life of faith and devotion as you are the epitome of such sublime virtues. We call on you Ina to make us strive to live in your likeness. Gentle in spirit, faithful in your constant love to your children, the Picolanos, who have embraced you as their mother, basking in the sunshine of joy that radiates from your heart, I bathe in gladness. I wonder and will always be in awe with what is it in your mystical and magical charm that I am drawn to you, gravitating towards you, an enigmatic figure standing tall, a commanding presence. Your gentleness is your power. In my weakness, you are my strength. Hail, Holy Queen. We lay bare the infinite and irrepressible longings and inevitable weakness of our human hearts, yearning, craving for your embrace. <laughs> Sa mong rona, bilog na kabikolan Ikaan kusog, ikaan para sorog Ang palawan Kami sa imong banwaang inataman Abang Can't remember. 